Welcome back, you guys. We are back at the Pottsboro house for phase two. We recently finished up phase one. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to get that plush hotel look. I have so many clients who send me all their inspiration pictures from Pinterest, and every time the bed is perfectly designed. And they go home and they try to implement it, and it's always a fail. So I wanna to talk to you about a couple tips and tricks on how you can get that plush look that you see on Pinterest that you see in hotels. Okay, so for our first trick is something that you probably wouldn't consider to be a trick. So most people think plush bed, they think throw pillows. And so they put so many throw pillows on the bed. Guys, you have to stop doing this. This is a pet peeve of mine. For every size bed, there's a certain size and amount of pillows that you really should put on this. I know I'm making every husband happy by saying, stop filling your bed with throw pillows. For a king size bed, kind of our rule of thumb at our design team is three pillows, 26 by 26. You can throw a bolster in front of it if you want, but we really like the less is more look. Another kind of standard rule of thumb for a queen bed would be two to three 24 by 24s, and you can layer them in front, but we highly recommend never going more than four, five if you have to, throw pillows. Also, one of my favorite tips when it comes to throw pillows is if you have a 26 by 26 pillow cover, you want to get one size up in the pillow insert. So you're gonna actually order a 28 by 28 pillow insert. So this gives that really thick, plush look in the pillow with that perfectly chopped middle that you see in all of the photos. So for my second tip, we want to get that plush look you wanna use a duvet cover and a duvet insert, not a comforter. When you have a comforter, and these are all the ones that you buy in the big box, like at Bed Bath & Beyond or Target, where it comes with the shams, the comforter, the sheets, and the throw pillows, don't do that. You wanna get a custom duvet cover. And to get that big plush look, you wanna get goose down, or the heavier the better, is really a good way of looking at it. Unfortunately, I'm actually allergic to goose, so I always like to do down alternative, but you can look at the different heaviness and amount of weight that goes into each one, and that gives that really end of bed look that you're going for. Okay, so the third tip I wanna to talk to you about is all about drapes. We love our grandmas. We know when you walk into their homes, you have the billowing drapes that go all over the floor, or the opposite effect where they're planning for a flood and they're way above the floor. So to get the perfect hotel look, you want the drapes to just perfectly kiss the bottom of the floor. Or as we kind of tell our upholstery work room, we want it to be flush with the floor. This gives that really full look that you're wanting to go for, but also makes it look really tailored and really custom. The second thing with drapes that's really important for that plush hotel room look is blackout curtains. We put these as a standard in every single room, whether it's a guest room, primary, or a kid's room. Blackout is the way to go. So those are three of my favorite tips for creating that perfect plush hotel bedroom. We absolutely love how this bedroom turned out. It's actually one of my favorite bedrooms of all time. So thank you so much for stopping by and we hope to catch you later on the next one.